On the top of our next page, we have three graphs. Um, let's get right in it. Question one, do you understand that the center is zero, zero? Hopefully by now you know that there's no shifts. The major axis would go left and right. Six right and six left makes 12 units. The minor axis, four up, four down, would be eight units. The vertices would be six left and right from zero, zero, negative six, zero, positive six, zero. The covertices, up and down, up four, down four. The foci, do your subtraction, that's two root five from the previous page. Let's go left two root five and right two root five from your center. Let's see what it looks like if we graph this. Center zero, zero, six right, six left, four up, four down. Foci, two root five, now the square root of 20 is more than one, more than two, more than three, more than four, but less than five, between four and five. You can approximate it using your calculator. You'll find that the square root of 20 is somewhere in this neighborhood. So between four and five, somewhere in that neighborhood. Those are your two foci. Uh, what you want to do to sketch a graph, this is where you sort of can cheat it out. I'm not looking for lots and lots of points, but this is the technique I do. I kind of do a little bit of a sketch and I try to smooth it out as best as I can um, to do a graph. Normally, under these circumstances, the graph goes where it really needs to go. Just try to make it look as good as possible. Um, the reason I do the analysis on the left side of the page is I know that those are the exact points that I'm interested in most. So I'm doing like a little bit of a sketch. And that's uh, a fairly decent ellipse. Um, I think I could do a better job if I spent more time. It's just I don't want to spend a lot of time on this first exercise. Um, that's about it. Let's do our second exercise, which is a little different. So the equation is not what I'm normally used to. Let's divide everything by 1296. This equals 1 on the right-hand side. What's going to happen is when we rewrite this, it's going to become x squared over 16 plus y squared over 81 which equals 1. So our center is again 0, 0. This is another one I don't want to spend a ton of time on. 9 units up and down. This is a tall ellipse. So 9 up, 9 down, that's 18 units in length. 4 left, 4 right, that's 8 units in length. The vertices would be 9 up and down from 0, 0. 9 up, 9 down. Covertices would be 4 units left and 4 units right. Negative 4, 0. 4, 0. Foci, let's do some subtraction. 81 minus 16. Let's see, that I take away 7, so maybe 65. So 65 would be the c squared. So c equals the square root of 65 plus or minus. We're going to add that to the y coordinate. So 0, comma, square root of 65. And 0 minus square root of 65. Now 65 is close to like, root 65 is close to 8 units, a little bit more. So when we sketch our graph, 0, 0 is the center, 9 units up, 9 units down, these are your vertices. 4 units left and 4 units right, so 4 to the right, 4 to the left, these are your covertices. The square root of 65 is close to 8, but a little bit more, and close to negative 8, but a little bit farther away. So those are your two foci above here. And again, I could sketch a pretty decent picture. by curving our ellipse. Look something like that in a section. And again, go down. The more time I spend on this, the less time I have to explain something else. So I kind of want to just give you the rough sketch idea of what this is going to look like. It looks pretty similar to what it would look on uh, an automatic grapher. That's a pretty decent picture. Let's go to this next exercise. Um, also, the square root of 65, I kind of skipped over it, but I don't think that the square root of 65 simplifies. That's like 13 times 5, so no, it wouldn't. All right, so now this is the formula we're looking at. Our center, we can identify is positive 3, negative 6. Positive 3 and negative 6. Here's our center. It would be wider, 5 left and 5 right, 10 units. So if I go 5 right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I go 5 left... That looks like the point negative 2, negative 6. And this would be positive 8, negative 6. And that's just the same thing as if I add subtract 5 from the x-coordinate. 
Um, our minor axis would be three up, three down, or six units. Three up, three down. Go three up. Let's go three down. Or these points, this would be three, negative three. And this would be three, negative nine. So yeah, you can do this from the graph, but you don't always have graph paper, so I haven't done that in the past. All right, um, I could sketch a picture, but first let's put in our foci. Our foci will take 25, we'll subtract 9. That gives us 16 equals c squared. Um, so c equals plus or minus 4. We're going to add that to the x coordinate because it's always foci are always located on the major axis. So let's add and subtract 4. So if I go 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 1, negative 6, and then 7 negative 6. These would be our foci 1 and foci 2. And let's sketch a little bit of a picture here. Here's what might look like. Okay, something like this. I'm like hanging off the bottom of this page. But no excuses. I gotta make this section better. And then, you know, shape it up if you don't like it. If you don't like it, we got to try different, try something different. All right. I could do better, but I don't want to spend the time. All right, that takes care of our graphs. And let's move on to our last section.